Hello and welcome, it's Bushwhacker here with another Stationeers tutorial. On today's video we are going to be building a gas mixing system that will allow us to combine our oxygen with our hydrogen to make fuel for our torch and for our furnace. Let's go ahead and get started here. For this tutorial we're going to need two tank connectors, we're going to need our gas mixer, some pipe, a canister, a gas tank storage, and we're also going to need some cable. We'll take our tank connectors, place them on the ground, and we'll put them right next to each other. Next, we'll grab our gas mixer, and we'll place this right on the ground as well. If I can figure out how, here we go. I'll place it right there. Next, we'll place down our gas tank storage right here. And we can put our canister right in there. Now we'll take our pipes and hook them up. Now I've placed it like this. This allows it so there's only two pieces of pipe in between the tank connector and the mixer um, for both of the gas tanks. Now, I don't know if this makes a big difference, but um, I have heard of some people having problems with the gas mixture. So, of course, I threw out my pipes even though I need some more. I'll throw one more in here. Okay, now we need to hook up our power. I've got all the wiring hooked up now. So we can go ahead and do a little spray painting. We want our oxygen coming in here. Now, it doesn't matter. The only difference it will make will be what input you end up setting the your settings to. And we'll put red for our hydrogen. And I'm going to choose orange for our fuel. Just because that's what the fuel tank on the welding torch already is. Let's take our gas canister out and paint that. Now when you're mixing your gases, you want to put the tank on the same connector every time or else you can really mess up your gas mixture. And with this system not having any way to vent it, it'll create quite a headache for you. So we can go ahead now and grab our oxygen tank. We'll place that on here. And we can grab our fuel tank, which is our hydrogen. Place that down and secure it. The last thing that we need to do is set our mixture. So one good place to look is your welding torch. If we turn on our tablet, we'll find out that it is 34% O2 and 66% H2. So that's the exact setting that we want to set our gas mixer to. Anything else and it won't quite be as powerful. So let's grab this and move it out of the way. And we're gonna look at our gas mixer here. Now I know that the connection coming to the bottom here is input one and the connection coming to the side is input two. So we want 34% in input one. So we'll reduce this down to 34. And that leaves us with 66% coming in for our H2. Now the final step is gonna be turning this on. Now you don't need to put a meter here because you can just click it and put it in your inventory, but it probably is a good idea. So we'll put one in real quick. You can put in a meter or a pipe analyzer. The pipe analyzer will kind of tell you what's in your mixture, so that's always good to have. We'll turn it on. And I found that these tanks tend to explode around 
10,000 kilopascals or 10 megapascals. So I usually stop them around 9,000 or so. Now I've heard some people having some issues with their mixture. Uh, the only thing I can think of is that you want to try and keep your oxygen and your hydrogen at about the same temperature. Or else if this is mixing the pressures, it, I don't know, it might be off a little bit because obviously higher temperature is going to be a little higher pressure. And when it cools down, it's going to maybe mix up your mixture just a little bit. Okay, we're at 9,000, so we can go ahead and stop it. It doesn't have to be exact. But now we will grab our fuel, and we can set it down. We can grab our torch, and we'll place our new canister inside of here. And we'll grab it. And before I do this, I'll, I'll say it. We'll see if it happens. If the flame is blue, then you, you did a really good job on your mixture. So let's see here. Okay, and we have a blue flame. I found even if you're 1% off with your mixture that the flame won't be blue, but it'll still work. So it's really not that big of a deal, but this is the optimal mixture that you want to aim for, for sure. Obviously it works on our welding torch, but it will also work in our furnace. I have hooked this up to my furnace and we will run it. And you can see that it gets very hot, 2361 Kelvin and works just great. If you're wondering how I did this, please stay tuned because my next tutorial episode will be on how to properly hook this up to your furnace. I would like to thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those below. Again, I would like to thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I will see you again next time. Bushwhacker out.